With confirmed cases reaching double digits in just a week, COVID-19 has hit home in Washington, D.C. and its surrounding areas. For the 11,000 low-income uninsured adults just south of D.C. in Arlington, Virginia, authorities are worried that the cost of testing and treatment for coronavirus may keep people from getting the help they need. The Arlington Free Clinic is currently working with county health officials to set up an off-site coronavirus testing center. Ability to do testing away from the hospital with a primary focus on people who are hard to reach, hard to serve, and are low income and may be afraid to, to access the health system. Homeless individuals, people that go to the day labor centers. At least 10 percent of coronavirus positive patients need hospitalization. White expects hospitals to waive those medical bills or have a sliding scale payment for those who are eligible for charity care. The homeless are particularly vulnerable to infections. They don't have a place to go for self-quarantine and have underlying health conditions like chronic lung disease. N Street Village, supporting Washington, D.C.'s homeless women, is working with health officials to set up a protocol. The key is to screen for symptoms, identify and isolate. If they were showing symptoms, we would refer them to see one of the doctors or nurses directly on site. That person could then make a recommendation about whether you know, they thought they needed to go somewhere. Stribling added the lack of insurance shouldn't keep people from seeing doctors, as many homeless people have Medicaid or Medicare. The Global Health Security Index released last October by Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security, among others, found severe weaknesses in preparedness, especially in countries with weak health care systems. But in Africa country, maybe it takes them like one hour to, to visit the clinics. We, we, we want to pay attention to them. If they cannot come, maybe we should take like outreach method to, to provide uh, treatment for them. Experts say it is only a matter of time before COVID-19 reaches countries with much weaker health systems and that timely sharing of knowledge and information at the global level is critical. Eun Jung Cho, VOA News, Washington.